what's up everybody welcome back to my channel it is me jasmine janice i know i'm not in my whole setup um i had to redo my intro but nevertheless my makeup is still done and if you want to see how i did this stay on here if it's your first time coming to my channel like subscribe um come back so you can see all of my rants and nonsense and random makeup videos and if you're if it is not your first time on my channel thanks for coming back i know it's been a while but i'm back so you know let's get started first we are gonna start with my brows i'm gonna take my anastasia beverly hill dip brow and uh, i usually skip this part but people usually ask me about my brows so i'm gonna make sure they they know what i do and then i'm just gonna show you this one and let's just show you how I do it really quick. I try not to spend so much time because I'll overthink it and then they'll just get bigger and bigger and bigger. So this is like the quickest way I can show everybody how I do my brows without it being like this horrible like mess. But I just fill them in from the bottom first of course and then I'm actually going to brush the brows hair down and then I'm going to make the line on top. And I learned this from Nikki Tutorial when she updated it had to be a long time ago so I don't know if she made a new one but last time I watched it that's how she did hers and then I just brushed the excess forward and that's pretty much how I get my brow I try to already have it mapped out correctly before I do my concealer because I can go crazy with some concealer and then it'll be really thin and looking nuts so that's my brow tutorial real quick like that's it like nothing nothing too much and I'm gonna just do both of them off camera and then I'm gonna take my Maybelline 24 hour super stay in the shade truffle I bought this so this is my first time wearing this and then I'm gonna take my um, Too Faced peachy primer and it has that cooling sensation I don't put that much because I have oily skin and I don't like to put a lot of primer on my face beforehand so I'm going to take this and I don't match my foundations to my neck. I have hyperpigmentation. So I just kind of blend it down. And when you see, when it was going to take care of my hyperpigmentation. But this was like a perfect shade for me. And it blends really nice. And it was really light even though it's like super stay. I didn't put that much on. I'm actually going to add a little more on my forehead. Because I didn't put enough because my forehead's kind of big. So I'm going to have to put some more. But it's really soft and it's really light. And as you can see, like I put some on and it doesn't look like, it's not making my face look like it's super caked. It just smoothed out my skin really nice. I really liked it. So y'all are going to see a lot more of that. I mean, it's, it's, I like it better than my Too Faced Born This Way foundation. Because if I'm doing a light every day, I wouldn't wear that because, but I would wear the concealer because like it's very heavy and it conceals so it's full coverage full coverage and I feel like that so is their foundation it's like full full coverage so it's hard to look natural with full full coverage foundation so it covered just enough but if you see me up close you can still see like at least the texture of my skin but with my Too Faced, it, you can't see the texture at all. But a lot of times I like it that way because I'm trying to do a full glam. But this is just an everyday. And I put concealer on my top lip because um, hyperpigmentation. So when I blend it down, it's not even going to look like I put anything there. But it took a lot of that darkness away. And it looks really good. It looks like when I'm not wearing any makeup but I got my lip waxed so <laughs> but there was no hair there and it still gets dark so I just put concealer there now and I put my little access of concealer on my eyelids but when I do my foundation my brows look really good I was really happy because I haven't done my brows in months like trying to make them look exactly the same and like life depended on it brows for me to do them as fast as I did because I did do them really fast they look pretty good to me. I mean, if you don't like them, that's fine. But for me, when I do my brows, dumb brows was A1, okay? So, especially since I just plucked them really quick. And it's always my, I'm trying to think, my left brow? 
right my left brow the one you can see the best in the video looks amazing and I just really wish that for my other brow but I always make it a little longer and you're gonna see me I'm gonna try to like make it pointy like the other side because the other side's not like that not as sharp but they still match pretty good so I was really happy but for my um, my concealer I use Too Faced Born This Way in the shade Maple and it blends down so well that it does its job without doing too much and I know a lot of my friends don't like to wear bright bright concealer I do but I tried to not do it this time so if you don't like how it looks when you have too much um, don't put as much even if you have really dark circles if you have at least the one I have that I just used the Too Faced Born This Way uh, it is it doubles on the foundation so it is really really thick if you want it to be so I only put a little little bit because it did its job now I'm gonna take my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Mahogany and um, I think I need to use a warmer shade for my or at least not as dark or not as much because when I use this and I haven't used it in a while I I want to try more contour shades and I don't I get afraid of using them because if it's too dark it'll get really um, it'll look really red on me and I don't know how that would go with my foundation and some don't mix with my foundation but you can see it's like making me a little gray so I'm trying to get away from using this particular shade and I don't want to I really want to use like a really fancy one I've been looking looking at um oh what is that that brand I want to say it's a uh, all black brand I want to say uh, I cannot think of the name I can think of what the logo looks like and I can't think of like what it spells out it's crazy but they have really good uh, shade range for contour sticks and everything like that and I really want to try it but for now it's gonna it's been doing fine my LA girl pro concealer it's been doing fine but I just want to change it up just because it's been a couple years so right now I'm gonna take my black radiance loose setting powder and this looks a lot yellow it looks more yellow than what it actually is on my face um, it's more of a translucent and like I said if you don't like to look cakey and if I wasn't baking I would have just put on this much powder all over my face and been done because you see it smoothed me out really well but I'm gonna bake so I'm putting more I should have used a different brush after I did my under eyes to put everywhere else but I didn't care I mean it was getting everywhere and it's really really fine and I think that's why the formula is so good to smooth out your skin because when I say it was like baby powder fine it was like baby powder fine but I'm actually and that was my first time using this powder and I liked it a lot but I'm actually gonna mix it with my fit me powder and this is I've been slacking I've been trying to use this forever and I keep forgetting to buy it I'm so sorry I keep forgetting but um yeah I'm gonna mix this well not mix it I'm just gonna add it on top and it's a lot more yellow than the translucent from black radiance not that it's anything wrong with the translucent one but I, I wanted it a little darker because I wanted it to like do what my concealer did I wanted it to really blend down and blend in um, I usually put powder on my eyelids because they get pretty oily but since I was just doing a soft look I didn't really need to I wanted to keep it sticky from my eyelids so I didn't put any powder there I know I usually do but I didn't and I didn't put any powder under my contour like I usually do because I didn't want it to be that defined because I feel like in a natural look you don't want it like super super sticking out and I know I, I, I didn't want it that sharp I wanted it more soft so I put more of my um, maple concealer from going this way on my lids and you can see it's not like super bright and this is my Morphe palette the 30 uh, 350M and they're all matte shades and I'm gonna take my browns and I took this really dark brown shade and I wanted it to be seen but not 
too much. So when I put it on, I was like, oh man, like I'm going to have to really diffuse it because as you can see, it's really, really dark. And when I think everyday look, I don't think blacks or like really, really dark shades. I think really soft, light, neutral shades. But I'm actually going to soften this up a lot. But for me, I like a dark brown on a brown girl. I think it looks really pretty. I think it looks, it makes your eyes look really, really good. Especially since I didn't do any shimmer on my actual lid. And I'm going to just cut my crease with my concealer. And it's going to look very neutral, to me at least. And I thought it was nice with the eyeliner and the lashes. Because I have to have lashes. You see, I don't have any. I pretty much, my eyeballs look naked without lashes with makeup. I think it looks crazy. I think I look so crazy, especially when I put eyeliner on. So I took a lighter brown and I go all all over the dark brown that I put on just to soften it up. If you see, that's my mirror. That's the movie playing and it's like on the amplified side. So I don't want anybody freaking out like, what is that? Like, that's the movie playing for my TV. Because I'm right next to my TV when I do my makeup. That's why I usually take out the sound if I do want to watch TV while I'm doing it. A tutorial because I'm just gonna do a voiceover so I take um, a light beige and I put that on my brow bone and I'm actually gonna blend that out too and it I feel like it softened it up I'm gonna get rid of that powder because my under eyes crease honey I have bags for days so uh, it smooths me out and people already think I look young and I feel like when I put on makeup it takes a few years off of me every time I don't know why it just does um, and I don't have wrinkles like that either so I just think it looks really good this is my um, black radiance the medium to dark I believe and you can see I've been using that contour shade that powder for I this is my second one since I've been doing makeup and I'll be 27 this year and I really started doing makeup when I was 18 and I know you're not supposed to keep powders and everything that long, but I wasn't always using them. And contour wasn't a big thing for me until I like turned 21. So I didn't have to go through that many of these. But this is a coral shade for my blush. And I feel like it wasn't enough, so I'm going to put on more blush later. But this is just is my concealer that I've been using the whole time. And I'm just going to cut my crease. I thought about putting the shade here. But I actually liked how it looked without. And I'm telling you I only have two, three shades on my eyes. And that's it. Usually I'm like, let me take this, let me take this, let me take this. And make it like a nice big transition. And look like this, look like this. But I felt like with that concealer and the browns that I use, it was perfect for just that was it. And I feel like I have a lot of lid space, but I have to use it a certain way because I have a crease that will really folds over my eyelid. So a lot of times I have to tilt my head way back to do a cut crease. So like people are always like, why are you looking like that? Like, and then my mouth's always open. So I look, I feel like I look crazy when I do this, but it turns out really well. And people are like, oh, I can't do cut creases on my eyelids. Everybody can do them. You just need to do them a certain way for your eyes. Everybody's eyes are different. And um, I just went back with my darker brown. Real light. And like I said, I softened it up. I don't want it too sharp. But for everybody else, I feel like they would have stopped here. But girl, I need some. I need a wing. Every day, all day. I don't. I don't like my makeup without it. I can do some looks without it, but I don't like them as much. I love me a wing on my makeup looks. I just cannot. I don't know how people be living their life without it. I really can't do it. I can't do it without it. So, um, I'm going to do a wing liner. I actually only did it to the middle of my eyelid. It looks really dark, like it's all the way to the corner, like I usually do it, but it's not. And, um, I'm going to do my other side. My other side is a... You see, I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, struggling. I get so scared to do my other side because they're never even. And when they are, it's because I use tape. And if you haven't seen the tape method, you put it right under your eye where your wing goes. 
so they're just automatically the same and it's always sharp but I like to freehand it to really feel like I know what I'm doing <laughs> so I, I just did the other side and it turned out really well and I'm gonna put on my lashes too and when I did my lashes they look so bomb and so long and they always look extra long because I have no lashes because I know people are gonna be commenting and be like this is your you know everyday look oh my god I'm just like I I can do a one shadow light foundation but I don't like how it looks on me because then I'm like well, how am I going to do my brows and I have to get a pencil and I, sometimes I can do my brows way thick thicker with a pencil for my brow like a brown pencil than um, actually dip brow I'm more careful when I'm using an actual dip brow because they can get really dark really fast but I just cleaned up that line and you see like one's higher than the other and I'm I I was gonna fix it but once I put on my lashes dude you can't even tell so I mean it wasn't drastic but without lashes you can really really tell so I'm just like you know what let me just make them darker and be done but here's my elf blush and it's a lot pinker and it has a little glitter it's just so you can see it more um, if you don't like to use blush, your makeup probably looks really whack, so it's whatever. And I'm going to take my Maybelline uh, mascara. I don't know why I have so much Maybelline. Probably because I just go to Walmart and CVS for my makeup unless I order it offline. But I will. you will never see me order an offline mascara. I feel like mascara has been lying to us for years. And I have so many, and I have so many that, oh, we're going to make your lashes look like this like that and it, and they never do and I've used the better than sex and I like it it's a nice mascara but it's not life-changing so I still just use any rinky dinky regular mascara if somebody wants to change my mind and leave a link to one that I should try it's whatever but I'm not gonna hold my breath on it I put on some Carmax because this this will probably be done for me besides doing my hair, but I'm going to take my bronzer because I almost forgot. Because like I said, I was looking gray, and I'm just going to take it all over in those areas. And I tried to change the lighting, and I'm like, man, to me, I was looking very gray. So I'm actually going to stop and change the lighting, and it's probably for the worst. And I just take a brown lip pencil. I should have used the pink one. Because I want it to be more natural than what it's going to look like when I use this liner. My lips got really dark and I was just like, oh. It was more glam than neutral. But I'm going to just change the lighting and I will be right back. So I had changed the lighting. Just so, like, I was looking great to me in the ring light. So I still have my ring light on, but I opened my shades. Just so y'all can see my skin and how I actually do match to the rest of my body. Because I told you I had hyperpigmentation on my neck. But my, like, you can't really tell. So, um, everybody's always like, you match your chest, you match your neck. I do it on my face. When I go look for a shade, I do it exactly on my face. And then I see if it blends out. And I was there with my friend and she told me that I put a little bit on my face and I blended it. And she said it disappeared. That's how you know when something's your shade. So I don't care if you're in Sephora or whatever. I was in Walmart, so their lights are really bright. Because in Sephora, they will play you, sis. They will play you. I've gotten a shade in there and blended it. And I did it on my back of my hand, first mistake. And then I did it on my face. And it was just like, and I was with my husband, second mistake. Because he has no idea. So it was just like, he was like, yeah, it looks good. Went home and it was too dark I mean I just blended it or I mixed it with something else so it was fine but still I was just like it was $55 and I was mad that I got the wrong shade so you know because when I go out to buy makeup like that or I buy new makeup I'm very hesitant because if I do something wrong that's a big chunk of money that you know I love makeup and everything but honey I don't got no splurging budget I don't have it I don't have it so you know if I do something like that it's because I know exactly what's gonna look good on me and everything like that so I take these lashes when I tell you 
I ordered these off Amazon. I have like 50 lashes that I ordered. I just wanted y'all to see, get into my lashes. I was very happy. They look bomb. I look bomb with lashes on. I look more like a girl. I look good. And I'm just gonna take this Maybelline highlighter and um, put this on my face. It looks great. It's really loose. So I'm really careful when I put it on because it can get everywhere. It can get literally everywhere. Uh, so I'm just putting this on, doing the finishing touches and stuff. Put some on my nose. Just so you could really get into it. But the light keeps changing and it was driving me crazy. But I really wanted y'all to be able to see it in real time. And then I'm just going to set my face. With, that was the first time I sprayed my face. I do my laugh lines, my smile lines, or whatever, because they crease so bad. I'm still trying to like get get into that and fix it. But um, then I'm just gonna take this highlighter color and put it on my inner corner of my eyes, just so I can have something. I really wanted to put something for our eyeshadow, but I thought this looked a lot better. I know a lot of people have been doing this with like pinks and yellows. But it looks really good. I like an inner highlight for my eye. It looks really, really pretty. And this was pretty much it. This was me like I was done. I did. I mean, I put on a wig later and everything you're going to see later. But this was, if I was leaving, this would be it. This is how it would look. Because I wanted to look did up, but not too done up. Like, I could go anywhere with this makeup look and I'll be fine. And it just looked like I had on makeup. So I really hope you guys like this. I'm going to put on this gloss and immediately regret it because it was doing the most. But other than that, I really hope you guys liked this tutorial. Like, subscribe, and we can get into it. Talk about it in the comments. Peace. up everybody so um it's been a few hours since i actually filmed this look and i wanted everybody to see afterwards and i actually took a nap like wig and all i took a nap with my makeup on and i just wanted to show everybody what it looked like so it's pretty like still intact so i was um really trying to test the foundation that i use the 24 hour superstay by maybelline and um i actually really like it it's my I mean my brows and everything is still their eyelashes and all so um if you like this video and you like my makeup or whatever like subscribe if you like my wig i don't know why people really like this wig that i have on i purposely make it look really messy and bad and everybody's always like oh my gosh your wig and i'm just like thanks i like it too i don't know so um yeah if you like any of those things like my video like my video i mean come on like my video and subscribe to my channel and i will see y'all again Burn it like I do under my tattoos to some remedy